What's up guys, Ed from Kansas City. And so we got those JBLs in today and what we wanted to do was we was just kind of wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes, the aftermath, the, uh, you know, uh, what we have to go through on them uh, after we get them in. And, and it kind of goes in sync, you know, it, it, it coincides with what I was saying in the video and what I've said, uh, uh, what I've, what I've said consistently uh especially uh since i've been making youtube videos now the thing about it is when you're ordering bluetooth speakers when you're ordering customer returns of any sort you do have to take into consideration what the items are worth on the market what's the current market value of them not what necessarily the ms or what uh, the seller says the MSRP is you have to take into consideration what the items are worth on the market currently because they fluctuate the price for an item can be uh, much lower than its uh, original debut or you know uh, when it was introduced to the market or it could be higher than when it was introduced to the market it just varies but that's neither here nor there the point I'm making is this is as I was saying to you guys when we purchase JBL speakers when we purchase toy lots when we purchase electronics uh when we purchase anything uh home and garden home appliances uh when we purchase anything we take into consideration uh how fast they sell do they sell what they sell for those items uh and at the same time we also we try to figure out a a a, a medium or a uh some sort of uh calculation on the probability of what's working and not working so we, i think a, a fair a fair a fair margin or mark or 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 uh if you want to call it a uh uh, uh guideline to set it's kind of like half of them working that's kind of normally how i do it so uh, uh uh this particular purchase that we purchased today had an msrp of twelve thousand. That's the one we got in today. We didn't purchase it. We got it in today. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, you'll see that one. You, you you should go back and see it, what we got in. So we got in some JBL speakers. The MSRP on it was thir uh, was 12000 We paid 4000 And as I was saying, we normally calculate it <clears throat> when their customer returns. We normally calculate, okay, so we say, okay, okay, if half of them is working, the MSRP is 6000 or, you know, we hope that 75% is working. I mean, you really do. You really do. When you get a auction or a pallet in, when you get something you want in and you, you, and you seem to come out of 75% of that working or more, then you're in the, you're in the green, you're in the positive. That is a really good load. And we've had multiple of those. And I'm talking on customer returns, not uh, refurbished or brand new or shelf pulled items where you know that they are all working. You have a hundred percent possibility of all items working give or take a one or two or so you know because sometimes even brand new items have malfunctions or you know they're dysfunctional or not working as intended so the thing about it is is we calculated okay that we say 50 percent of them will be working 50 percent of them will not be working so we had msrp of twelve thousand. <clears throat> um yeah msrp of twelve thousand. so we said it's about six so as I said, these speakers have been very expensive late, lately. We only got 33 of them in. And they are expensive, guys. They are JBL speakers expensive, and that's why we went and got Sony. So we got them in, and as I said, we say, okay, that's you got you can possibly make six thousand if half of them is working. And that's kind of like your your borderline, it's kind of like the bottom line. You hope, like I said, that 75% of them working. Because if 75% of them working, then you're looking instead of 12 and instead of uh six thousand you're looking at eight thousand dollars so our our maximum cost which should have been around three on an order like this because we said the msrp is you most you're going to make out of it or the average that you'll make out of it is about six so we would have normally been about three on this or you know something around that that area we'll be we be at four which uh you know, three would have got us to the point where we definitely going to come into the green if half of them is working and you're charging a certain amount of price. Now, here's the thing about it is, guys, and I'm going to show you the speakers in just a second. We're going to show you what we got in and what is and what ain't, uh, what is not. So 
um, like I said, if, if, if it has an MSRP of 12 and you calculate half of them is working and that's 6,000, okay, then you're hoping that uh, if the speakers, let's say that the JBL, uh, the JBL 310, this speaker here, let's say it's work, let's say it's uh, priced at, let's say the speaker is priced at, um, let's say the speaker here is priced at, 550 on the market right now okay as a reseller you're not necessarily buying this to flip it for the price of what you paid or what it's going for on the market you're looking to sell it at a discount you know depending on the condition of it and things like that now there are some places you can get close to the msrp you might get 550 at some places for this depending on where area you sell them in, where you sell them at, and the condition of the item, things like that. It's, you know, it's not always likely, but there is a possibility. So, one thing you got to look at is this right here. I'm going to pause, and matter of fact, I don't have to pause, but let's look at something right quick. Let's take a peek at, um, let's get my calculator out here. And so, uh, there are 33 items in this lot. So let's go to 33 items in this lot. Well, we're going to back up, guys. My bad. 4,000 divided by 33. We paid $121 per speaker, guys. It doesn't matter if they big or little. We paid $121. And uh, $21 for these speakers. So that's for 33 speakers now as i said let, let me try to figure out the math bear with me before i kind of show you the results that's what, what i really want to do want to show you the results of of the speakers that we got in we have them all tested so um if 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 it has msrp of 12 if you can and you say okay six thousand half of them is working you'll get six thousand out of it but you don't necessarily get six thousand out of it just because you figure half of them is working, and of course you want more. You want seventy-five percent of them work. You want a good lot. You want a good order. But the thing about it is, is when you look at the speakers that cost say five fifty, and you sell them for three hundred, almost half the price. Or if they cost five hundred, and you sell them for three fifty, well, you're taking, you're cutting, you're narrowing down your bringing down that MSRP right there. So instead of making 6,000, you're probably going to be in a, in the area of 4,500, maybe 5,000 at best, if that was 50% working. Now, if there's 75% working, you know that, you know, uh, which, which, which getting back 8,000 out of that, you know, you'll probably get about six, you know, 6,000 out of it, hopefully, or, or even 6,500. So you'll make a profit of two grand or so like that with something like this, if 75% is working. But, uh, so we paid $121 per, uh, per order, per speaker. Now, what happens if, let me show you, what happens if, what happens if out of those, 33 speakers, you got, say, four, six, seven, seven. let's say you got, let's say 4,000 divided by, uh, let's say, 15. Now you pay $266 per item if only 15 of them was, was working. And that, my friend, is what we have today. So we got 33 speakers in. And out of 33 speakers in them, we got 15 working. That's $266 per speaker that we pay because we only really have 15 of them working. So we're really only getting profit out of 15 speakers so basically for the ones that are working we paid 266 dollars now i i get it we paid 121 per uh for the whole per speaker but here's the results right here okay so we got everything i got everything tested 
everything. I mean, all of them out of the boxes and everything. Marshall has a, all of them out of the boxes, guys. Here's our results right here. So let me show you some of the results that we've been talking about. Here's a JBL Extreme 3. Here's Extreme 3. Now, they just take a regular Type-C charger. Regular Type-C charger. So, regular Type-C charger here. If I can get this open here, guys, just a second here. Okay, hey, regular Type C charger. I have one uh, over here somewhere. There's my JBS charger right there, guys. So here's the first one we're gonna look at. Get this charger in here. We're dealing with one hand, guys. One holding the camera. So here's one JBL charger right here. Let's plug her in. Well, let's first let's let's first plug her in here, so you'll know. I get it in there, guys. As you can see, it's charging. Take it out. The end. Charge. Okay. Now let's turn it in here. JPL speaker. There she is. Turn her over. Does not charge. It does power on. Does power on, but as you can see, it doesn't charge. So I'll have to get the charging port fixed on this one. Let's look at another one. Here's another one. Doesn't power on, of course. Doesn't charge. Let's see, guys. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, that she's in there. It's not charging. You don't see any charging going on there. So this one does not charge at all. So there you have the one that doesn't charge at all. Here's another one. Does it power on? Does power on. Let's connect the Bluetooth here. Okay, he just went back off. So let's let's put the charger to him. So this one here has a bad port as well. Let's put the charger in there. Power on. Guess I ain't gotta do all that, guys. So as you can see, he does not charge. Let's take this same charger here. I'm gonna put this charger and this guy here right over here with the rest of those. Take this same charger and we'll put it in another JBL right here. Let's put in this old raggedy one right here, guys. So you know what I'm talking about here. Just so you can see. What I'm talking about. See that guy's charging? This one works though, guys. He works. He works. He works, guys. That same charger out of there. That charger out of there. Let's go to the next one, guys. This guy right here. This one here. Does it power on? Good battery life. Did you hear that, guys? Let's turn it back off again. And let's turn it back on. You 
You hear that? This has a speaker issue, guys. If I turn it on. Now, let's find a video right quick. Something that people won't be complaining about. Hey, you're playing my song without for free. So let's find something. We'll just use air from Kansas and shoot it. So let's go here, guys. So we are at Retail Rebel here. You guys hear that? So, um... <laughs> when I fall on you. What matters to you matters to Geico. We're now hiring clients and customer service agents. Apply today at careers.geico.com slash Kansas City. And let's get growing. You can't get much for five bucks these days. I don't know who's going to bid on this guy here. I'm not doing any justice, guys. So let me find a song right quick that more than likely uh, won't interfere with anything i think i got one i just need to find a video all right quick guys give me a sec give me a sec give me a second here bop, 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 bop. that's crazy i can't find one guys Ah, uh, my goodness, where's some music at? I see some music, that's it. Let me pause, guys. I'm going to find some music for you guys. Okay, so here it is, guys. not very detectable but it has a very distortion in there uh it does charge i believe uh, i think it does charge or does it not maybe this is one that plays guys and just doesn't charge so this this probably is the one that plays so i guess that was really not a distortion guys so it just doesn't charge is what it is. So we have another one that doesn't charge. As you can see, it's not charging. So it does play uh, sound. It did sound distorted, but maybe that just my hearing. But um, so another one here. Okay, he's not charging. It doesn't seem like he's charging. This one's not coming on either. Okay, so he doesn't come on. He doesn't charge. So a lot of them have bad ports. And I think it's this one here that has the distortion, guys. And it, you will be able to tell the distortion significantly. Maybe something's up with my charger. My charger plugged up. I don't know, guys. I might, yeah, he's charging. As you can see, he's charging. But let's see if this is the one that had that. Let's see if this is the one that had that problem. Let's see what it does, guys. All right, here we go. Anytime now. I don't hear nothing. 
I hear absolutely nothing. That's that's me on the video. I'm tripping on the video, so uh -oh. it's gonna come on in a second. I might have to go. Line in. We want go Bluetooth mode. Go forward some. All right, here we go. It's got DJ effects and all that sort of sources. I don't know, guys. I'm tripping. But anyway, I have one over here in this group that had a distortion. This one here, he doesn't charge at all. He's a charge for He doesn't charge. It has, like, maybe a damaged port or something. I don't know. But, doesn't charge. All right. He doesn't charge at all. No light colors at all. Him. Doesn't charge. Doesn't power on either. Right, it does power on. Okay. You see it has the red light. Don't charge. So it will not charge. Okay. So, and then these guys here. All these wheel burns. These, not Will Burns, but these Marshall speakers, guys. All the Marshalls, starting with this guy. And this is what I mean by, you know, starting with this guy. Plug him in. Plug him in. Power him up. No sound. No sound at all from him. Uh, it doesn't do the normal thing that it normally does like this one right here he has no sound and it doesn't the bluetooth doesn't want to connect this guy here it works but as you can see the port is in is pushed in some has somewhat of a damaged port it still is connected it still is pretty strong but the more times that people get the plugging it in the more it's going to um, so as you can see that one has sound so I'm going to unplug it but the rest of these guys the rest of these guys let's get another one just like him yeah, right here this guy here plug him in all the way in there push this button nothing guys does not power on and it's going to be the same for those two guys right there those two marshals right there they do not power on all of these guys here all of these guys here powers on this one powers on but uh can't get it to bluetooth Power's on, but will not Bluetooth. Unlike, <sighs> unlike this one right here. doesn't cut off either guys you have to hold the button for it to cut off it also will not reset when you hold and I think it's gonna power back on its own too but when you push those two buttons there you push those two it won't reset either so functionality problem with this one it does power on it probably does charge uh this one here 
this one I have it on my generic charger uh, it does charge it does pair but I need to get a real charger to see and we've already ordered those to see if it's actually going to do what it's supposed to do these two guys over here they do power on and they do play sound they do connect but I don't have the charger compatible with these to test the charging ports on those so uh, so as you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen speakers fourteen speakers that do not work guys fourteen that do not work this guy he works he works let's power him on okay let's, let's push play let's, let's, let's connect him to another Bluetooth it's connected to the Bluetooth I'm using on the device but I want to connect it to another Bluetooth the thing with this one is when I unplug it this device it may be charged up better now but what it was doing was it was cutting off and cutting back on it may not do it now since it has had quite a bit of time to charge but let's see if it does it this guy here seems to work pretty good he works real good I guess uh, all of these in here seem to work good you have some like this that have a lot of wear uh, like that one um, where but those work the pulse 4 works excellent so you have this one it was um, when I would when the battery was low it would power up power off power up power off power up power, power off when I had the charger out of it but when I connected the charger it ceased to do that so um, I want to see if I can get it to I want to reset this but I need to look it up again I don't know if it was the these two buttons here or if it was a power button and a plus or power button and a play or or if it was just holding this button I don't know uh, let's see if it powers back on its own guys don't know if you see it powers back up on its own I'm gonna power it off power it off and watch it power back on. And maybe it wants to act right, I guess. Okay, so so there that's what I'm saying, guys, and that's what I mean. You know, that's what I mean about the cost of this stuff, guys. So here we got, we have, and this guy's really beat up real good, as you saw in the other video. He's took a nice licking. He's still ticking, but he took a hell of a licking. He's pretty beat up to the front of him, as we've seen in the other video. He, he's really beat up real good. So it's like, how much can you get out of something like this? I mean, even if we look at the MSRP, what are you actually looking to get out of a speaker like this? Uh, this is the JBL 100. This is the 110. Uh, and then that is the uh, 310. The other truckload that we do have coming, guys, has more of the bigger speakers and not as many as the smaller speakers, which, which is why we've got both of them. So here we are, 8,000 in. And how much can we actually make off all of this, guys? I can, I'm going to try to sell this one here for it's going for 500 at the stores uh let's take a peek at what it's going for one more okay so that's what the jbl boom box is going for we got two of those so if they're going for 500 across the board how much can we sell them for now keep how much how we how much we've actually paid for what we have because all these ones down here all of these have to get fixed, guys. And I get charged anywhere between 
45 to 65 bucks to fix these boom boxes. And then for the smaller speakers, I get charged about 35 bucks to fix those too. 35 and then about 35 and sometimes 45 for those and then 45 to 65 for these. The guy, he, he, he actually tries to charge me based off what he thinks the speakers are worth at the store, what they go for, what I can sell them for. So since he thinks they're, they're, they're money speakers, he tries to get money. And more than likely, I have to try to catch this guy to fix him when he needs money because he always comes to me asking like, you know, do you have anything to fix? And then he's always trying to borrow some money and trying to get something, you know. And, and, and there's been times he's tried to fix some of our things for um, – uh, the price that we sell them for. And we're like, man, I sell that speaker, uh, uh, Ion speaker. I sell it for 50 bucks. How are you going to charge me 50 to fix it? And all we had him do is take one case off and put a new case on the one that had the damage case. You know, they're out casing. So that guy's tripping sometimes. But let's get back to the pricing here. So like I, like I said, that speaker goes for 500. We can sell it for. So what do we sell it for now? We try to sell it for now about, I guess, you know, um, we're trying to sell it for about, I don't know, man. I mean, on eBay and spaces like Amazon, they're going for like three. Some people are getting four or four fifty out of them, depending on who they are. But um, let me sit shopping right quick, guys, and see. Uh, somebody has on eBay for one seventy. Uh, yeah, it, it really, it really varies, but we're talking about what can I get for them? You know, what can I get these speakers guys? So, uh, I'll be adding on an extra anywhere between the extra, let's say he charges 50 or 60 to fix these. That's 100. Depending on how many you can get fixed, we got another one over there. So that's at least two hundred dollars more right there, and you're looking at probably a hundred, two hundred dollars more right there. So we're looking at four hundred dollars just probably to fix the JBL speakers by themselves. Four hundred more dollars on top of four thousand, and uh, of course that's four hundred dollars more that we have to spend to make more money. So with what we got in, I'm thinking you know if we can charge, if we can get say 300 at least 350 i've been selling the sony the sony 500s for 250 and 275 which we've been good with 250 we've sold about five of those and that's what helped us get these uh and this is what i mean guys by this is what i sincerely mean by you can get some bad lots some bad orders that can really hurt your business they really hurt you they can really take your business down man and this and it's lots like these that make you be like damn mm. i mean I, I i was not happy when we did the unboxing with them i was not a, uh, pleased with them because you know when you do that initial kind of powering them on and trying to test them to see what's going on with them then you're like oh man a lot of them not powering on they don't have charging cables you know and it's like you're getting half of not even half of them that's working so there's he just powered himself back on right there you know he just powered himself back on so you know that's the thing you know a customer can buy that you know he goes for 550 i guess but a customer could there he goes powered himself back on but a customer can buy that let me look up in here guys and see what he goes for jpl 310 let's see what it goes for guys so the JBL 310 is going for 550 as I was saying. Best Buy and the JBL. Uh, so that's the 310s right there. They're going for 550. So I'll try to get out of this one. I sell the Sony 700 for 350, and I still got it. Haven't sold it. They all they all keep asking for JBL. Sorry, about, I was pointing at this. I sell the Sony one that's equal to this one for um, 350, and this one here, since it's going for 550, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try to get four out of it, guys. I kid you not, I'm gonna have to try to get four out of it, maybe 375, 
and possibly 350 because he has he does have a little issue with him. Uh, this guy here, the JBL 110, he's selling for. JBL, let's go. JBL 110 is going for $399, 400 basically. So it's going for 400 uh, So out of this one here, if it's going for 400 guys, I'm going to be shooting for 250 It's the same way I go for the, J, for the uh, Sony... Um, this cat guy, I was already on that one. Look at this cat guy. He is a problem, man. He's a full problem. He's ate, he's ate the doors up and stuff. Did I show y'all guys that stuff? Hold on, let me show you. Cat, he ate the door up. He, he, he this is what he did to the door. Look at that. You see that? He chewed that up there. Hold on, let me show you again. This is what he did to the other door. This is a brand new house, guys. This is a brand new house. Clawed it right there. Clawed that one. This is Carmen's cat, guy. This is not my cat. This is Carmen's cat. And this is what he did to the other one. There's that door. Brand new house, guys. Brand new. He's clawed up stuff. He did some stuff to the carpet. Look at the carpet, guys. Turn his light off. It's wasting money. Look at this carpet. This is Ariana's room. Look what he did to the carpet. He 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 he, no, he mauled the whole carpet. Did the same thing to ours over here, our room. That's Ariana's room. He he mauled it. So <sighs> he got declawed. Yeah, that's what he got. He got declawed. Got we declawed him after he, the damage was done. But hey, he's declawed now. So <sighs> he, he's a problem, ain't you? He knows me, guys. I don't play. Yeah. Normally, I catch him doing something, and I do that, and he he stops doing it. You gotta train him, you know. You really have to train the cat. All up on the stuff, distracted guys. But anyway, that's what I'm saying to you guys. That's what I mean by um. That's fully what I mean by. You can buy this stuff, man, and. You don't know what, you don't know. You don't know. It's probably better to buy refurbished stuff. You know, let's see if he come right back on. Anyway, but that there, there you have it, guys. We got all this stuff in and come right back on, you know. But we got, like I said, 30, 30, um, 30, I think you can hold this button and he may power himself. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe not. He just might keep coming on. But all of this, so we got all this stuff that needs to be fixed. So you're looking at, we said 400, we said 200, 400. We're not including the marshals, which I'll do those last. Maybe this one first before this, I do the other ones. And then I'll probably do the portable ones too because they'll sell faster. But you're looking at, we had one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was a couple of hundred there. And then we have four of those. That was a couple of hundred. And then we had, uh, I'm not really worried about the charge one, but we'll get that fixed too, that little charge four. But then you got all of these speakers here, one, two, three, four, which he'll probably charge. You know, he might he might try to charge. This one sells for about five fifty six hundred dollars too. He might he's liable to try to charge eighty dollars and stuff like that. The JBL one thousands he tried to charge us sixty five to ninety five for fixing those. And we got him down to, you know, sometimes I just give him 65 or 50 bucks, you know. But you got to catch him when, he, when he's in need, and then he's more agreeable. He's more realistic in his, with his prices other than trying to price it based off what do you think I'm going to make out of it, you know. It's them guys' generic speakers. He doesn't go through that. So, yeah, that's what we go through, guys. That's what we go through here with the cat, with, with the orders, you know. <laughs> All this stuff is crazy. It's been crazy, man. I'm telling you, man. It's it's a hell of a business, man, and um, <laughs> this is why it's tough sometimes to get ahead, man, because you're so busy trying to get ahead, and you got liquidators that really aren't 
for the small business guys. They're really not, guys. You got you're trying to get ahead in here at the same time. These folks are uh, these folks are literally scamming. Now I forgot this one. We did have this one here. Uh, I don't know if this charger is necessarily compatible with it. Uh, I don't think that charger is necessarily compatible with it. It did power on when it was charged. It did power on, but I don't think this charger is necessarily strong enough for it. But uh, it did power on. So I think it I think it will work because the charging port is actually working because it did accept some of the charge from this speaker here. Uh, so he, he does work, uh, you know. So yeah, he works. So there we have what whatever the number was, we still paid over $200 with the working speakers and 120 plus for all the speakers each. So that's what we got to deal with, man. That's part of living. I have soda in this freezer here. I was trying to let it get good and, good and cold. And I think it's, I think it's too cold now. So I'm gonna have to drink it later. Cause if I open now, it's gonna fizzle. It's gonna fizz. So that's what I mean, guys. You think I'd be joking when you think I'd be lying, but that's what I'm saying, man. We get this stuff, and you don't know what goes on behind the scenes, man. People got to go and pay somebody else further to get them fixed. And that's why I think, as I was telling you guys, a lot of guys that's bidding on these, a lot of these JBL speakers, you know, it's one thing if they get an order that 70% of them all is already working. And then if you get one that's 50% of them working, then they can fix them themselves. So if they know how to fix them themselves, and it's hard to learn how to fix these good things by themselves when you're when you're when you're not knowledgeable and educated or skilled in this type of field. I don't refurbish stuff, you know. So, man, you know, it's now we're basically looking what we can make off this. So if we got, say, for instance, we got, uh, let's say, if we got fifteen of these working guys. And we can get, let's say we got, let's say we did get four out of that, three out of that, and uh, and 200 out of that little speaker there, and 100, let's say 50 bucks out of that one. Nonetheless, that's what it's four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Let's just add of those, them speakers there, that's $1,000. That's the high end for, uh, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a hundred for that speaker, which that probably won't get a hundred. We'll clean it up though. Once we clean that speaker up right there, we should be able to get a hundred for that easy. Uh, that is a three hundred dollar speaker there, guys. So we can get a hundred from that once we clean it up. So you're looking at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, and maybe a couple of hundred for that one there. So that's, and then we have. Let's say these go for normally they go. I normally sell these for like 150 a piece, guys. So if we got a thousand over there plus 200 plus 300 here, that's 1500. If I can get these off for 350 a piece, which I am, which I only got two. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, and then five. Let me see, 500 here. That's two grand right there. That's half of our money back, and then we still have. Then we still have to have three, six, uh, seven, eight hundred there. Let's just say another thousand. So that's three thousand dollars right there, guys, for our money back. We can get about almost close to pushing hard for three thousand with what's working. That's where our money is going to be right there in the ones that's broken. That's where our money is going to be right there because that's another. Uh, what did I say, 350? So that should have been more over there, guys, because I was counting those as 250, and I should have been counting them more. So definitely, definitely with all that stuff there, we can possibly get pushing for 3,000. And then another over here, if you say, if we was able to sell these for 250 and 300 or 350, even if we sold for three, three, six, nine, 
The other one over there is 1200 And then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which one? Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, uh, 3, 3,500, another 3,500 there. So, it would put us ahead, but we got to spend more to get them fixed. I'm just talking now, guys. It's, it's over. I'm, in talk. I'm just talking. I'm, I'm out of here. Not a great day, guys. Not a great day. I didn't get the yard done. Oh, man, it's it's crazy, man. It's, it's just, like I said, you try to get ahead, man. So we got another pallet of JBL speakers coming. This, this one was 33. That one has 43. And it has more bigger speakers. It has more of the uh, more of the 310s in it and 300s and some of these more in it. But is it going to be in the same condition? I'm out.